King of King, we magnify your holy name. The lion in the tribe of Judah, we say thank you. The lily of the valley, we say thank you. The rose of Sharon, we say thank you. Our maker, we say thank you. Our deliverer, we say thank you. Thank you, Father. For your love upon us, we say thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, King of Kings. For in Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. Amen. Amen. And amen. I greet you in the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The anointing of God Almighty is upon me, because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the meek. He has sent me to heal the broken hearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, to recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty those who are oppressed. Hallelujah. It is well. This is the day the Lord has made. We rejoice and be glad in it. I greet you once again. In this life, many people, one way or the other, they are not building the, 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 the God's temple. We are talking of God's temple. You know, Everything is life in this life has different different ways. There is different ways. There is di different um, activities. There are many ad activities. There are many thinking. There are many beliefs. There are many understanding. Hallelujah. Jesus said. Jesus said to them. He said, destroy this temple and I will rebuild it in three days. Hallelujah. I said, our Lord Jesus Christ said, destroy this temple and I will rebuild it in three days. Hallelujah. But they asked him, the Jews asked him, how can it be possible to build this temple, to rebuild this temple in three days? That don't you know this is a temple that was built for good 46 years? Hallelujah. This is a temple that took them 46 years to, be, to build. This is a temple that many people gathered together to build for good 46 years. And how are you going to build it in three days? They were clamoring, murmuring, thinking that how could that be? How could that possible? How could that be? But I want to ask you a question today. Are you not among of people thinking that it is the temple, the building that God, our Lord Jesus Christ, was talking about are you among the people that were thinking or that is thinking that is all about the bringing down the temple and rebuild it physically hallelujah 
when we are talking of building the temple is all about what that's my question for you today are you thinking as well that our lord jesus christ was talking about temple physical temple no the temple that our lord jesus christ was talking about is a is is his body that they should destroy it and he will rebuild it after three days it was after when he was uh, when he died and rose again even before the disciple realized and understood very well what he was talking about hallelujah our today's proof test shall be taken from the book of first corinthians 3 16. but before we read that the today's title today's message building god's temple are you building god's temple where is that temple do you are you talking about the church are you talking about building a uh, building um house building are you, are you talking about building physical build physical building are you talking about building the walls are you talking of arranging the foundation of a church, arranging the, you know, the building, building up the church? Hallelujah. Are you building the temple? Today's message, building God's temple. Are you building God's temple? And where is even this God's temple? Hallelujah. Some people don't, might not know or they don't know the temple we are talking about. That's why I'm talking, uh, bringing the parable uh, of our Lord Jesus Christ telling the Jewish that they should destroy this temple that is going to, you know, rebuild it in three days. Hallelujah. Let's quickly go for to our today's proof test. Our today's proof test will be taken from the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 16. Hallelujah. I read, do, do you not know that you are the temple of God and that the Spirit of God dwells in you. Hallelujah. I take it again. Do you not know that you are the temple of God and that the Spirit of God dwells in you? Many people don't know that they are the temple of God. When we are talking of building temple, building God's temple, People will be thinking of building houses, building, you know, physical building. You are the temple of God. How are you building our temple? Do you really know God for real? Do you, do you truly know him? And I want to ask you, has the old temple in you truly destroyed? Has the old temple in you truly destroyed the bible says if any man be in christ is a new creature all things are passed away behold all things become new have you ever or has old temple been destroyed in you some people will still be saying they know christ they are christian yet they, are, they still have old temple in them. They still have old temple in them. You know, we're talking of uh, somebody that believes that is a child of God, is a born again Christian. You know, flirting around. You know, do a lot of things, going to going to different clubs, carrying carrying ladies, womanizing, adultery, idolatry. Part time, part time with God, part time with with uh, with idols. Hallelujah! Our Lord Jesus Christ said, "You know, let, let let me let me quickly open your eyes to something. It's just coming to my heart now to say it. There are some people that believe that they are Christian." or child of God that has, that never knew 
that what they are really doing is not according, you know, it's not accordance with the word of God, with the will of God. That's why, that's why I'm, you know, this message is coming to you to see if truly old temple in you had been destroyed. There are little, little forces by, like, by biting, malice, hunger, hatred, fight, you know. You see people that will be, you know, that will be claiming that they are children of God, child of God, yet you still see all these kind of things in their character. They can keep malice, they can fight. They can go to club anytime, walking in the walking walking in the midnight. You know, those are the old temples we are talking about. Have you allowed that old temple to be destroyed in your life? Building the God's temple. Are you building God's temple? Who's talk, who's, you know, what kind of temple are we talking about? That's why, that's why, that's, that's what we just read in the book of Corinthians. That uh, don't you know that you are the temple of God and the spirit of God dwells in you. But if you do not allow that old temple to be destroyed, the spirit of God will not be able to dwell in you. This body is just like a suit. It's like a cloth. The soul and spirit dwell in and if you do not allow god's spirit definitely demon will take place you know those spirits the spirit of god and demon cannot do anything without this physical body now they will be looking for where to where to, you know where to where to dwell in the spirit of god can only function in the body. That's why the spirit, the demonic spirit as well, can only function through body. When the spirit of God, you can let's let's for example, spirits can never you cannot touch spirits. And now God wants you to do something in physical. Or let's take it this way. Our, our almighty God himself come into the womb of human and be born as man, as, you know, through the body. For the fact that the spirit cannot do that, it will require man to man. There are some things that require flesh to flesh and which the spirit, all spirit cannot do, which require body. That's why your body is just like a suit for the Holy Spirit or for demon. And I pray demon will never have any chance in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Demon will never have any chance in your body in the mighty name of Jesus. But if you, don't, if you do not allow the Spirit of God to dwell in you, demon would definitely want to come in. That's why you have to allow the Spirit of God to dwell in you. That's why I'm asking you today, are you building your temple? And what the temple, what is the temple we are talking about? That is you. What temple are we talking about? That is you. Because you are the temple of God. And the Spirit of God dwells in you. But the Spirit of God cannot dwell in you unless you allow you unless the old temple in you being destroyed hallelujah now some people through worldly things they never allow the old temple being destroyed in their lives by looking for you know seeking here and there looking for wealth want to build house want to buy cars all that kind of worldly things and the Bible says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all other things shall be added unto you. What, you know, the mistake that people, that people used to do, based on the fact that they don't know, that if, if they seek the kingdom of God first, that is, 
Salvation, righteousness. Seek ye first the kingdom of God, salvation, and the righteousness, holiness. And all the all other things shall be added unto you. Well, what you have been run, looking for, running Esther and Skelter, running from pillar to post for, will be added unto you, giving you easily. And you know, there are some there are some spirits that will the, the old spirit will not allow who used to tie many people down, never, you will never allow or give chance for Holy Spirit in the life of many people. But you have, to, you have work to do. The Bible says, from the days of John the Baptist until now, this kingdom of God, the kingdom of heaven, sovereign, violent, and the violent take it by force. Hallelujah. You have to take it by force. You have to build your you have to you have to contribute your effort so that so that the Holy Spirit will help you to let the old temple in you being destroyed so that the God so that you can build God's temple so that the Holy Spirit can dwell in you. Hallelujah. I pray for you as you are hearing the sound of my voice. The grace to be able to allow Holy Spirit to dwell in your temple will be granted to you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The grace to build your temple, to build God's temple, will be granted to you in the mighty name of Jesus. Grace to build God's temple will be granted to you in the mighty name of Jesus. Grace to build God's temple will be granted to you in the mighty name of Jesus. Grace to build God's temple will be granted to you in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, King of Kings. Thank you, Everlasting Father. Receive Spirit of God. Receive Holy Spirit. Receive Holy Spirit. Receive Holy Spirit. Receive Holy Spirit. Receive Holy Spirit, grace to accept Him. Receive it. I consume old temple in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Every satanic plan on your life, I consume them with Holy Ghost fire. Wherever they have tied your glory, I release it in the mighty name of Jesus. I release your destiny. Shine, arise and shine. Be fruitful. Be fruitful. Be fruitful. Be blessed. In every area of your life, be blessed. Be sanctified. Be anointed. I cover you with the blood of Jesus. Your glory will not fall. Your glory will not shallow. You will not be destroyed. You shall do exploit in all your endeavor in the mighty name of Jesus. Receive blessing. Receive blessing. Receive breakthrough. Receive financial breakthrough in the mighty name of Jesus. I cancel every demonic spirit in your life. I cancel every spirit that is not related to the spirit of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Be blessed, be healed, be safe, and be delivered from every satanic captivity in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Thank you, King of Kings. In Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. Amen, amen, and amen. This is where we'll be ending today's program. Uh, my name is D.A. David once again. Uh, if you would like to hear more of this message, like to receive more of this message, kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel, Regain Global TV, and follow us on, YouTube, on Facebook, G.A. David Ministry. Share, share the message, share the, share the message, let other people be blessed as well. And um, as well, share, like, and comment. 
If you need uh, any counseling, any advice, kindly send us a message via Facebook or through our um, email, regainglobaltv at gmail.com. My name is G.A. David. Till next week that we shall be meeting if our father tarries. Stay in faith and remain blessed. Bye for now.